on an occasion, I will run people's dating app profiles for them. All right. I find it fun. Um, and I'm just a constant student of studying the human psyche and human behavior. It only helps me more and more and more as a matchmaker. All right. I mean, I always want to test my theories. I'm usually always right, but I'm willing to be proven wrong, but rarely am I. So here's what happened recently when I was running a woman's dating app profile. Okay. This kind of goes hand in hand with that Dimitri audio that I posted recently. And that audio, by the way, has been going around probably 10 years. Um, I think probably from YouTube initially and Facebook and somehow it got recycled on TikTok. And it's just amazing to watch somebody just implode, but I see it all the time. And so this is what happened recently. And listen, I think what you guys fail to realize is that there's a lot going on behind the scenes. People are busy, busy doing things, or they get distracted, or God knows what's happening, okay? But we're all just so concerned with our own perspective that we never step back and take a breath a lot of times. So or we're over anxious, we're excited, somebody's finally talking to us. So I matched with this guy for her. And, you know, my philosophy on the dating apps, which I think is a good practice, is, is you know, don't fall for the beautiful pictures necessarily. I get we all want somebody cute, but pay attention to the details. And if somebody has written the details that you like and that resonates with you, then at least give them a shot up to bat. From there, if they have a shot up to bat, they can either knock it out of the park or they can strike out. It's up to them, but it's up to you who you let up to bat. So I'd say give people a little wiggle room. So I gave this guy a little wiggle room just to see what he would do. And unfortunately, here's what happened. Um, I sent a few back and forth messages with him and you know, listen, I'm good. I'm good at that. So he's talking to a pro and does not realize and um, I'm setting him up for some great conversation, but he immediately wanted to get on a call so fast, like immediately without zero, without any foreplay, no foreplay. We need foreplay. Okay. Everybody's going to need some foreplay. No foreplay. Wanted to get it straight on a call. I do like to speed messages along, but I don't believe in going from zero to a hundred. So um, when he suggested a call, I actually hadn't even gotten a chance to respond yet because I got busy. And in that time, and we're talking a matter of like probably 30 minutes to an hour before I could respond to him, he had already spun out because he thought I was rejecting him from him suggesting a call. So he just self-selected himself out of the equation and said, okay, well then obviously we're not a match and you're not interested. Best of luck to you. And I think he added God bless. Mistakes people make.